Not much evidence of fossils yet, but there are some amazing stones. And look, it's quartz. So I shall be taking this for Oscar. Look at that. There's an ammonite in that rock. Wow, a bit too large to take. <laughs> that for other people to enjoy. It's a good start though. Maybe that means we will be lucky and find a fossil. Wow! Hmm. What does it mean when it has the three dots? Which bones? Where's that from? But that's a beautiful one. It's a tiny little lucky cowrie shell. So hopefully, and there's, I can't, I haven't seen really any other shells. So hopefully that's a good sign. I know I'm looking for fossils, but it's not a work flint. But I just want to show that weird edge, the way it's broken. You've got to look at the unworked flints to recognise the worked ones, I think. But how weird is that? It's just quite beautiful. A little steps. We are quite spoilt to being able to find fossils at home, but I mean, it's just nice to come into this. It's stunning. I think that's fossils in the on the rock. So what's a big coral? Or just tiny like the seabed, all the tiny bits the sediment that fell. But you can sort of see that's a that's something. And there's another bit here. Is that my first fossil? <sighs> yes. Oh, and it's a beautiful little fossilized like a wrinkle shell, but obviously not a Oh, that's beautiful. <gasps> yes. I said I would be happy if I found one fossil today where Mary Anning used to find her fossils. I could go home happy. And there it is. Beautiful little shell. So if anything else, it's just an excellent bonus. Mary Anning was an English paleontologist and fossil collector. Her finds contributed greatly to the changes in scientific thinking about prehistoric life and the history of life itself. Her lifetime was a constellation of firsts. Mary was born on the 21st of May, 1799, in Lyme Regis. The Anning family were very poor, and out of ten children, only Mary and her older brother Joseph survived to adulthood. Mary's father Richard was a cabinet maker and an amateur fossil collector, and by the time she was six, Mary was joining her father on his hunting trips, which was a very unseemly activity for a young Georgian girl. Richard taught Mary how to look for and clean the fossils and often displayed and sold them from his shop. Like many women of her time, she had little formal education but was able to read and taught herself geology and anatomy. Mary's father Richard died suddenly in 1810 from tuberculosis and a previous injury from falling from a cliff. Joseph took up a post as an apprentice to upholsterer while well, Mary's mother, Molly, encouraged Mary to sell her fines to pay off the family's debt. Look at all these ammonites. Oh, just, 
All the rocks are full of them. Look! <laughs> there it is. There is a piece of ammonite. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. It feels it feels more special than it, than it's than the fact that it's come from here. Is that what I think it is? It is. Oh my goodness. That would have been the biggest, chunkiest ammonite. Oh my goodness. You can see the ridges. Wow, that must have been huge. I wonder if anyone's been lucky enough to find the rest of it. Oh, I've definitely taken that. I think that's the biggest piece of ammonite. I found like bigger pieces, but they've been whole. So that's the biggest piece of the biggest ammonite I've ever found. Wow, that's amazing. <gasps> Brilliant. It's a hagstone. See the fairy world. A fine tracery of quartz, probably. It's beautiful. Looks like a map. Is that going to be more? Oh, yes! Wow! There are big pieces here. See, where we usually go, we find lots of ammonites, but they're tiny. There are big pieces of ammonite here. Oh, I'm definitely going to do something with them. This is amazing. So we're here because it's Mum's birthday today. So that's why I booked um, now. But the tides aren't great this weekend. So that's why probably not finding as much as we normally should. Just, uh, but I'm complete uh, but I'm completely fine with that because we've got lots of fossils. I was happy with one and I'm finding these really big chunks of ammonite which is very cool. You don't usually find... I've never found one. <laughs> Surprised there's no bellamites yet, though. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh, that's incredible. That's a... You know... The sheer size of it. Isn't that... Swimming about calling about. As a creature, it must have been slightly terrifying and intimidating, really. You know, imagine seeing a snail that size. Although, actually, a snail that size would be adorable. Is that pyrite? I think it is. Some fool... Is it fool's gold? I can't tell. I think it's fool's gold. Oh, and there's some more. Oh, there's a pool of water. It is. It's pyrite. And actually saying that, oh, there's loads of stuff here. It's like this. What's this? Is this a fossilized seed? Is that a fossilized seed? I think it might be. I mean, what's this? It's actually hidden under there in that rock. Ah! Oh. Yes! More ammonite. Oh, what else is here? I can hear the stones as I get hit around by the... 
Oh, this is a big wave. Listen to the... Can you hear them plopping? Okay, here's after this one. Uh, it looks like um, more Bella Mines, maybe? It's like you see the layers. And you can hear the rocks in the background. This is so beautiful. I'm looking for all the big fossils in the rocks. Look at this ammonite. Oh, I bet that would be amazing. There's another one. It's intriguing, the mystery, the what's behind, what, what is it? Yeah, definitely an ammonite though. Wow, look at that one. There's loads in that rock, loads. Loads again. Very subtle shadows. poking out. I mean, I know it's not a fossil. It's like a work of art. Crazy seaweed here. Look at that. So many of them. They're incredible. Okay, that looks like that could be a really nice fossil. <gasps> yes! I thought it was a whole ammonite, but it's not. But look at this beautiful shell pattern on it. <gasps> That's amazing. And I think over here I saw some more ammonite. I do. Okay, I'm going to search in this spot. Look at this beautiful shell one. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to look around here for a second. After all my talk, I think I've just found the first Bellamite as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, there it is. There you go. It's fate. This place is famous for Bellamites and Ammonites. Okay, so I've just spotted two exciting things. So I spotted this first, and it is, it is a tiny little cockle shell, fossilized, 3D. And then as I was looking at this, do you see what I see? Oh my gosh, please. Oh my gosh! It's a star crinoid stem! Oh my goodness! Wow, look! Look at C! Oh my goodness! Wow! <laughs> These stones truly are crazy. It's a shame it's not really showing, but they're like, they almost glow. They look alien. We might have to take one just to show Oscar. I think that is another Belmite. Yes! Excellent! Look at that stone. Layers going through it. It's beautiful. I'm sure it won't be as beautiful when it's dry, but those layers are pretty crazy. Look at that one. There's loads. That's beautiful. Imagine having a floor like that. Again, look at the size of that one. That would be a massive ammonite. You just see the edges. Huh. It's 
that? Is that a fossil in a flint? But what is that? Look at those circles. Uh, it's heavy. <laughs> they don't look natural. Is it part of an ammonite? Um, uh, an echinoid? It's just a bit mushed. Hmm. Just show that to Kate. Shiny shell. Wow, it's beautiful. Almost looks like a flower. Can you see that? Might be the first tiny fossil I found. I think it's crinoid stars. Yes, it is. Wow. Looks like a little vertebrae. Look, there may be some more there. Oh, are they broken? Oh, I think it's just like one. Oh, focus, 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 focus. I think it might just be like one branch or a baby one. It's a tiny, tiny fossilised shell. Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's lovely. Oh look, it's almost, um, oh, is that the shell in it? Pirateised? Yeah. I'm still, I'm still oh, it does look like a vertebrae. It does, doesn't it? But it really does Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> does it? It does, not it? Wow, okay, that could be a dinosaur <laughs> rather than the other little ones we find. That's, That's huge! It is, but, and it definitely looks like it doesn't. Yeah, it is, it's concave yeah, there. And then it's here, and then it's a little bump, and it's on either side and inside. Whoa! It's lovely. I was going to expert. <laughs> I'll Google them. I'll Google the expert. <laughs> So our lovely Lyme Regis guide, Tom Fines from Instagram, who we met the day after this, um, seems to think that the fossil I just found is a plesiosaur vertebrae, which are super rare fossils and very poignant for a Mary Anning special. And Mum will tell you why. Unfortunately, Mary struggled financially most of her life as being a woman, she was not eligible to join the Geological Society of London, and she did not always receive full credit for her scientific contributions. Mary searched particularly in the winter months when landslides exposed new fossils that had to be found before they were washed away by the sea. One of her discoveries was the first correctly identified ichthyosaur skeleton when she was only 12 years old. In 1823, Anning made a discovery that would cause a sensation in the scientific world. Anning had discovered the bones of a gigantic reptile-like creature, a plethiosaur. The news spread quickly and the remains were brought to the Geological Society of London and became the subject of much scientific debate, of which Anning was not invited. The famous French scientist Georges Cuvier, known as the father of paleontology, inspected the bones and concluded they were fake. He did eventually admit his error and recognised their authenticity. Her work played a key role in the discovery that coprolites, known as bizzle stones at the time, were actually fossilised faeces. She also discovered that belemite, fossils contained fossilised ink sacs, 
like those of modern cephalopods. It was only in the last years of her life that Mary received the recognition and praise from the scientific elite that she so clearly deserved. She was finally given an annual payment by the Geological Society and was formally recognised in scientific papers. But recognition came a bit too late for Mary. She died of breast cancer in 1847 in considerable financial difficulty, despite her contributions to scientific understanding. Doesn't that look like the sort of stuff you've found? Yeah, hold it, it's going to be satisfying. Is it flipped? Maybe. Oh, and behind you. Oh, I see. Oh, amazing. They're so uh, different. They're different here, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. And only because not, they haven't been smoothed by the sea yet. I think if you walk, walk further along the coast, you, you find like whole ones smoothed. Is that a belmite? Oh, it is, but it's a point. Amazing. I did not think these were going to be on this beach. Oh, oh my gosh! <sighs> Beautiful crinoid stem stars. These are my favourite fossils I think you can find. They're amazing. <sighs> okay, I literally just dropped everything, but can you see it, Mum? <gasps> oh my <gasps> goodness! Oh, wow. Like the ones in the big rocks. It is, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So that was a successful fossil trip. Yes. We can find anything else on the way to yeah. the bakery. Yeah. Who's <laughs> next to it? This is funny. Wow, that would have been enormous. Gosh. Oh, and it's that's really so well. beautiful. Oh, so amazing. Nice paperweight. Yeah. Wow, these are the biggest bits of. <gasps> what is that? It's a tiny piece of fossilized shell. Oh, that's beautiful. Good for jewellery, isn't it? That's really good for jewellery. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So that was our fossiling, although we're not sure that's a word, trip to Lyme Regis and we've wanted to go and make a film there about Mary Anning for a while and we thought Mum's birthday would be the perfect opportunity and obviously we found some amazing fossils and the crinoid stems and all sorts of beautiful things but I'm not sure anything can beat this and we will um, send out some pictures to get some further yeah, ideas Tom just saw it on your camera, yeah I didn't, didn't actually, actually manage to show Tom it but it certainly looks like all the pictures I've seen online and if this is a plesiosaur vertebrae that's absolutely insane yeah, it's very rare <laughs> they're incredibly rare and we've never found a fossil other than like shark's teeth and ammonites and and the fact that we found this on the film that was all about Mary is incredible because she is the one that discovered it and went through lots of hardship trying to get people to believe that she discovered a new creature. And here is a part of one. It's mad. It's crazy. And Mary Anning was a very, very 
cool woman. She was. And, so sad. And her tiny dog. Mm. And there's all sorts of crazy legends about Mary Anning, like that she, when she was a child at an equestrian fair, that she, when she was one, she was hit, struck by lightning, and the person holding her perished. But Mary survived, and lots of people said that's why she was so intelligent, because she had lightning in her veins. And also the rhyme, she sells... She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. There's lots of uh, urban myth that that is about Mary Anning, but it's not, is it? There's also... That's not where that comes from. So we hope you enjoyed... We'll let you know about that, or if any of you can give us any information. Yeah, it would be brilliant. So we hope you enjoyed. We absolutely loved this day. It was brilliant. And we will see you tomorrow for more madness. Once again, I hope you're having a very Merry Christmas. Bye.